All right, so, I mean, 12 steps and A Course in Miracles. I mean, tw a Course in Miracles is, uh, for me, at a higher vibration. It says, all thoughts are meaningless. Every thought I have is meaningless. And I'm not a body, I'm free, for I'm as God created me. So the forget the body, forget your thoughts. That will, if you just do those two things, that will take you, take you into what I call an infinite realm. Um, the 12 steps, um, I mean, in truth, there is only pure love, shall we say. In truth, there is only pure love. So what creates the perception of judgment and a, a world of not feeling good enough or not separation. being seen or separation, yeah. Well, that, of course, is one's individual identification with thoughts and the body and the ego. And as, as, as you said, you know, each level, the more you identify with the separation, the body and the thinking, it's like it, you, you, you perceive a different world where ju God judges you more, you judge yourself more, and other people judge you more, so it's seemingly. So, of course, uh, in the 12 steps, um, the 12 steps for me is like many spiritual paths, they're dualistic. So there, there is a prayer, me to a God, to remove something. So, uh, oh, oh God, me bad, uh, can you remove my badness? Uh, thank you. Something like that, you know, whatever it is. The 12 step prayers, there are lots of 12 step prayers. So, they, they are, um, for me, they, they're useful in the context of that energy field, in that to just admit that there is a problem and to ask a God out there to remove it is better than not doing that. Um, if you then find that you've gone beyond that, and you're, and you're getting hooked into that, then you, you might want to go to a different spiritual group where they're, they're not using that, that languaging. But, you know, if you're really in a low vibration, shall we say, I'm not trying to make this as a judgmental hierarchy, so you're in addiction, just to pray to God to stop my alcoholism and to pray to let go of being selfish and, and dishonest is useful from where you are at. Uh, but if you want to go from me pray to God over there to remove something, but you want to get to enlightenment, then that's, you know, you're dissolving the idea that there's a separation between God and myself, and the idea that there's a separa separation between myself and others. So you're going into the inf infinite realm. So it does have its place for, for people in a certain context. You know, like, um, when you're a low vibration, going to a church or going to a 12-step group, and, and getting the idea that your ego is not the center of the world and praying to something to remove your... You know, the four defects of character are symbolic of the seven deadly sins. You know, dear God, remove my lust. Dear God, remove my gluttony. We, I mean, the four defects in 12 steps are uh, self-seeking, dishonest, uh, fear, and something else, uh, mm -hmm. selfishness, yeah. So, but those are just symbolic of the seven deadly sins. So asking a God, me bad with... I'm. I'm, I'm uh, what is it, greedy for donuts. Dear God, I humbly ask you to remove my greed for donuts. And I'm also dishonest. And dear God, I humbly ask you to remove my dishonesty of stealing the biscuits yesterday from someone while they weren't looking. So even though it's, you know, it seems to reinforce an idea that God is separate from me and I'm bad, but it's still better than where I, if, where I was before. So I'm going, I'm making progress, and, and something will happen from where I used to be. Just this thing of me in separation, praying to God out there to remove stuff, which is not, you know, whether you call it, uh, whether you call it, um, whether you call it seven deadly sins, greed, or whether you call it dishonesty, uh, it's not really to reinforce the egos, but it's from a place of, I'm the center of the world, it's now a place of greater humility to ask the divine to remove that. But of course then you can go to a higher level where you now know that there is no God or you don't need to be talking like this, you know, there is no separation between me and others. So then it seems like it's now pulling you down, you know, or it might seem like kindergarten, you don't want to be talking kindergarten language any longer. So, it, I mean, I would say it has its place. I mean, you can have, you, can have, you know, the thing I would say with 12 steps is that I'm, I'm in 12 step groups every day. And they don't affect me. It's like, I mean, I, I'll go to a 12-step group and say, I'm an addict, you know, an addict of this, or I'm a donut addict, or whatever it is. You know, it doesn't affect you, because if you, when you speak and, you, and it's meaningless to you, it doesn't affect you. 
Yeah. So if you make everything like a, you know to go into what I call junior spirituality school doesn't 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 affect me if you make everything meaningless. And even talking, you know, like I sort of see it like if I was to talk to like a five year old, I'd talk in their language. But I wouldn't become a, like a five year old. But I'm able to speak as a five year old. You know, whatever, whatever it is. You know, like uh, so. When I am speaking to people who use 12-step language, you know, I'm powerless over alcohol, or, or I'm an alcoholic, or I'm a donut eater, or whatever it is, I don't get hooked into that. Because, and I don't actually, if you make it meaningless, I go to the observer continuously, in a, um, this is how you transcend low vibration environments, or lower vibration environments. You just make everything meaningless and keep going to the observer. And then people say that, but you don't get hooked in. And you can also say those words. You know, for me to say that I'm a, I'm a donut addict. Hello, my name's Sabir, I'm a donut addict. Like, I'm not going to, I have no fear that I'll suddenly eat, like, a bag of donuts, you know, because it's meaningless to me. But you don't have, I don't have to go to those places, but, it, you know, I, I choose to go. I do think they have a good vibration. But if they, so that's the thing. Also, if I was saying, like, say, I mean, I do understand, like, certain places have their spiritual quirks. Every spiritual group has its spiritual quirks, you know, like in a 12 steps groups, like if I went to an AA group, should I say that on camera? If I went to a certain group, <laughs> too late. Uh, <laughs> if I went to a certain group, I'm not saying what I'm a member of, you know, there's lots of groups out there, just say, uh, but if I went to a group and uh, let's, you know, if I if said I'm an addict, for example, you know, it's like, uh, that's what you do in 12 step groups, you know, you might say I'm an addict, but I don't buy into that, it's meaningless to me. It's like I'm not going to suddenly pick up a load of drugs and donuts uh, uh, and stuff. Oh, I, I, I kind of, I mean, if I, if when I do go to 12-step groups, I think for me it's important, not in every group, mind you, it depends on where I'm going, but if I tend to, I have, where you've created meaninglessness in the word addict, mm. I've changed my meaning in my own mm. mind, so to be addictive means that I'm highly focused, I'm intuitive, I'm... I'm enthusiastic, and it's a matter of that energy that I've got. It doesn't necessarily have to be the result of an illness. It can actually be something quite beneficial if it's channeled in the right direction. So for me, I've softened that by changing the meaning I've got of it. I, but I also, the other thing is, is I, I don't want to be, spe be the special in different ways. If the entire room says I am an addict, mm. I'm not going to go. With, well, I'm not really going to say that I was an addict, because even though I don't think that problem is relevant to me now, I'm not there to. It doesn't help my usefulness. Mm. I am not mm. useful if I'm trying to separate myself from yeah. members of special or different. Mm. That's totally. But I do still find it very interesting. It's like I, I liked what you were saying there because there is this God. There's a saying. I mean, I've heard it said in meetings, and I don't know where it originates. It's God does not make shit. That's just a very um, cliched soundbite. God does not make shit. And, and there is almost what seems a little bit of a dichotomy, a little bit of a contradiction, whereas God has not made you defective, and yet you've got these defects. And it's a very... Um, it's, it feels like it needs a bigger unravelling, because the way I personally view the idea of a defect of character is at the heart of it is my ego makes incorrect assumptions about the world around me and then creates a story in those and the story that I create in those is what keeps me separate from everybody else and God and it's that separation that is the it's the bounce back it's the where I bounce back from that spiritual high that spiritual bliss connected state back into the world and out again it's like it's what it's what go make, puts me in those what i've previously described as a kind of spiritual bipolar um, yes so yeah mm. yeah so absolutely so i totally agree that's i totally agree with that so you, you know like we say in the course of pray for a miracle to see it differently if you see the words differently or you make them meaningless or you go to the observer of them then you can transcend, and I totally agree. Like one wants to be, you know, sometimes if you don't say you're separate to the others, you can be more helpful to them. So mm. if you can just change what they mean for you, or just make them meaningless, in that group, they, you know, one can help them. I mean, I'm, I'm in trusted groups, and it's like the Holy Spirit tells you how to language things. You know, I'll, I'll sort of 
talk uh, like with food, I'll say I'll just make do I make donuts mean meaningless. Or I make my body meaningless, and I don't have food obsession. I don't have body obsession. So I'm introducing the course of miracles in there in their own languaging that they use there. So thank you. That was it. Thank you. Thanks.